school's out for summer, but for some budding young engineers, the learning's just begun. As part of YNN and Time Warner Cable's continued effort to connect a million minds, YNN's Leah George joins us on scene from the Rochester Institute of Technology with more on RoboCamp. Over the course of the next five weeks, about 100 students from schools throughout the Rochester region will be here on the RIT campus learning how to build and program robots. This one's the ultrasonic sensor. You can program it just so you can tell it what to see and how it works so it doesn't bump into like a wall. And these are very common problems that are in even advanced robotics applications. So they're learning these at the fourth and fifth grade level, which is outstanding because a lot of the students coming into the college level some of them struggle with these concepts at that age. So if you can get it at a lower age, it's just great what they're doing. Ryan Bowen is an RIT PhD candidate and RoboCamp coordinator. He helped develop RoboCamp about three years ago as an outreach program geared toward middle school students. His goal? To get them interested in science, engineering, technology, and math, and prepare them for first Lego League, first robotics competitions, college, and possible careers. One of the only girls in this week's camp session said watching her brother take part in first robotics competitions got her interested. And she seems to have picked up a trick or two. Our mini competition, we won. Oh, so, you did? Yeah. yeah. It was all because of the claw and how I had to set it up. So, Because you can move it around in the square in the different position that you want it. Whether this was students' first experience building robots or their fifth, almost all said they're having fun. Because I didn't really know how to program it at all. And I learned how advanced it kind of gets. It's not so just put it together and just press a button. You have a lot more stuff to do on the computer. So it's kind of complicated after. But we're learning. At the end of each week-long camp session, students' parents are invited to come in and watch their young engineers compete for points and prizes in the final robotics competition. Reporting from the RIT campus, Leah George, YNN.